invited back. My name is Sabbath Papahu. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm going to talk about an honest reality check and a prayer request. Now, you may have heard that we are preparing for Stimulate, a summit for wives to increase in spiritual, relational, and physical stamina in marriage. And as we've been preparing, I've been talking with the speakers and I've been going through questions and notes and reading and thinking and praying. And I came across an email that I sent out to a mentor of mine way back in 2012. I was just two years into being married and I was away from the people that were my rock, (laughs) my community. We were in another country studying and I wanted to share the email with you because this is why we are doing what we are doing for Stimulate. Because we know that on the best days, marriage is amazing and equally challenging. And we need to be able to talk to other people about the things that are really happening. So I wanted to share this email with you because I know that we have been there. And maybe you are here in this place that I'm going to describe now. And we want you to know that you're not alone, that you're pretty normal. And there is hope on the other side of continuing to press in day after day and saying yes and desiring to increase in spiritual, relational, physical stamina and marriage. It takes work. This particular email went to a group of close friends of close friends of mine, including one of the speakers that you're going to hear from at Stimulate, who is a joy and full of wisdom. And she's been married for decades and she's walked with woman after woman, wife after wife, asking the hard questions, telling us like it is. And I can't wait to hear, for you to hear from her. But let me read this email to you. The subject line is an honest reality check and a prayer request. Here it is. For the sake of obedience and desperation, I'm sending you this email to ask you to pray with me. The following is a note that I just made in my iPhone. And as I was writing, I was feeling like, or being convicted rather, that someone else needs to know what I'm going through. These thoughts and feelings stem from a few weeks of fighting. I'm sure there's also a lack of sleep, stress, travel, family issues, etc. that have added to our fighting. We've shared some good times, but there's been an undercurrent of tension and unresolved hurt. Also, they are the reality of an even deeper issue that I've carried into our marriage and never resolved. Thanks for listening and praying for me slash us. I trust you and love you guys. Here are some things on the note. I need help with these issues. And you know what? I'm still preaching to the to the choir. I am still working on these issues. This was in 2012. We are in 2022. And although I have grown and changed and I'm not in that place that I was, it is a constant day after day challenge. And so these things, although I may have Uh, grow in these areas are still things that I'm working out if I'm going to be completely honest and I am going to be completely honest because that's the only way that we are going to be able to journey with each other into transformation here's the note I need help with these issues taking responsibility for my actions lying 
in order not to have to take responsibility for my feelings and thoughts. Blaming him. They are seriously affecting my ability to be a good wife, to love and respect. And right now, right now as in when I was writing this email back in 2012, I feel like it's going to be impossible for us to be genuinely happy because we expect such different things out of each other. I question why God put us together. I need help to change my attitudes and behavior. I want to take responsibility and be genuinely repentant in a way that causes me to change. But first, I need to know that they are wrong from someone other than him. <laughs> Can you relate? A couple other points on that note that I sent to my friends and mentors. I need help to learn to communicate honestly and peacefully when I'm upset about something. I need to learn to receive criticism with grace instead of getting angry and defensive. Friends, this is a little vulnerable, but it is so real. And again, this is why we are doing what we are doing for Stimulate. There is an amazing set of speakers who are ready to equip and encourage and be brutally honest and also speak from their experience so that we can grow in spiritual, relational, and physical stamina because we know that that is what is going to keep us going for the long haul. So stay tuned to here on YouTube or on the podcast, Invited Back with Sabbath Kapahu, or on social media, Facebook or Instagram, at Sabbath Kapahu, or Invited Back for summit details. It's happening on March 20th, and it is going to be a space to grow and be encouraged wherever you are on your journey as a wife. Thank you again for spending a little bit of time here today. Until next time.